Hi everyone, it's uh, Rod here from Bushcom. Just making a quick YouTube clip to talk about our Mill One uh, True Broadband Throwout Military Antenna. Now the antenna comes in a in a nice little pouch here, where everything's tucked in. Now taking taking the antenna out, we have the antenna itself. We have the combination of the hand winder and the earth, and the earth stake there. We get a five meter coaxial lead. You'll notice that with the coaxial lead, the uh, the connectors um, as well as the ground stake have been blacked out for um, to stop light reflection. And we get two pieces of nylon cord. Now this is a true broadband antenna. Um, it is from 3.5 to 30 megahertz. And you'll see here that the center winder, it is also the, the uh, ballon, and you can see the load attached here. So I'll just slip the, um, slip the winder onto the antenna, and this is nice and easy. We can now just start to unwind the antenna. Now this antenna um, in total length is about 27 metres long, so as you can see there is a little bit of wire to, um, to unwind from the antenna. And once we get that done, we'll take a quick pause and we'll show you how to actually get this antenna up and operating. So as you can see, because this is doubling as the hand winder, um, it's going to be nice and easy to pack up the antenna once we're finished. That's the main part of the main radiator. Of, of the main radiator has been unwound now, and now there is a, a three-meter earth wire as well. So the antenna is now unwound. I'll put that down so you can see it. There is the ballon there. The whole antenna, obviously, everything wraps around there. And when it comes time to um, to to pack the antenna up. Uh, once again, you can just pop the earth stake through there, and then you have the nice, easy hand winder to pack the antenna up. But um, before we do that, um, we might just set this one up and um, do a little on a little on air test. Back in a moment. Okay, we're back now. We've for um, so the second part of our video. Uh, we've set the antenna up, which took us about five minutes. Um, now, starting at the centre at the centre ballon here, we'll uh, just move off to my right and show the ground side of the antenna first. Now, as you can see, we've gone round this tree, which is the strain relief, and put the earth stake into the ground and attach the alligator clip. So, pretty simple stuff. And as you can see here from the tree, the antenna at this end is only about a foot off the ground. So, we'll just walk up to the, to the left side of the antenna, back past the ballon, moving along the antenna. Um, now, the antenna itself is made out of Kevlar wire. Now, obviously, that is longevity. It is usually stabilised on the coating on the outside of the wire, but uh, not that that's ever going to be a huge issue because this is a quick deploy temporary antenna. Um, now, getting towards two thirds of the length down the antenna, we will come to the load, which is here, and moving along a little bit further, the final third of the antenna comes with a piece of cord, which was supplied with the kit. Now, the cord does a couple of things. Obviously, it's a way of tying off the antenna, um, but also, if you wanted to get the antenna up into the fork of a tree, um, this piece of nylon's just got a, a, a fishing sinker uh, on the end of it. Uh, but you could use anything. You could use a rock, you could use a, a piece of wood or even a water bottle, anything that can get the antenna up into the air. So we might just um, wander back down to the ballon. We're back at the, uh, the centre of the antenna now. Um, now we've got a Barrett uh, PRC2090 military radio here. This radio puts out about 30 watts and we're just going to do a beacon call into a base about 900 kilometres away. So I'll just get that going and you should be able to hear the data, tones and handshaking going on there. waiting for the station and there you can hear a nice um, a nice strong revertive coming back from the station so now keeping in mind 
that this antenna, uh, we think we've probably installed it in about the worst location that we could think of. We're in amongst a lot of trees. Um, the centre feed point of the antenna is no more than 12 inches off the ground. Uh, the ground itself is extremely dry here for the, um, you know, for the earth stake to be working properly. Um, obviously, if you've got a vehicle nearby, the vehicle itself can be used as the earth point, which, you know, in this situation may even work better. But the whole purpose of the little demonstration here has been to show that even in the harshest of environments, um, a Bushcom Mill 1 uh, will, will do the job. So thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.